This free step-by-step -step video comes to you directly from Haynes, creators of the world's best repair manuals. Fix your car or truck the right way with our accurate and reliable information at your side. You can complete more than 200 jobs on this vehicle when you purchase the complete online manual at Haynes.com. Water pump replacement. Pull the hood release lever located on the driver's side kick panel. Push the hood safety latch to your left, then raise the hood. Loosen the nut on the negative battery cable clamp, then disconnect the negative battery cable. Position the cable aside to prevent accidental reconnection. Apply the parking brake. As an additional safeguard, chalk the rear wheels to prevent the vehicle from rolling. Raise the front of the vehicle with a floor jack positioned under the subframe. Place the jack stands under the reinforced portion of the unibody seam. Then lower the jack. Remove the under vehicle splash shield. Cooling system draining. Remove the under vehicle splash shield. Place a drain pan under the radiator drain plug located in the center of the radiator lower tank. Then unscrew the drain plug. Remove the radiator cap, then allow the coolant to drain completely. Install the drain plug and tighten it securely. Raise the car with the floor jack, then pull the jack stands out and slowly lower the car. Remove the chalks from the rear wheels. To start, Leave the drive belt on and loosen the three bolts securing the water pump pulley. Leaving the belt on will help to prevent the pulley from turning while you loosen the bolts. Remove drive belt shield. Using a socket and ratchet, rotate the tensioner clockwise, then slip the belt off of a pulley and slowly release the tensioner. Now remove the belt. Apply the parking brake. As an additional safeguard, chalk the rear wheels to prevent the vehicle from rolling. Raise the front of the vehicle with a floor jack positioned under the subframe. Place the jack stands under the reinforced portion of the unibody seam. Then lower the jack. With the belt off, finish removing the water pump pulley bolts then remove the pulley. Remove all but one of the water pump bolts. Pry the pump free and allow the remaining coolant to drain. After the coolant has drained, remove the remaining bolt and the water pump. Remove the old O-ring seal and clean the mating surface. The replacement pump should come with a new seal. Install the seal into the water pump seal groove. Note the tabs in the seal groove that hold the seal in place. Guide the water pump into place and install bolts. Tighten the bolts to the specified torque setting. Install the water pump pulley. Align the bolt holes and hand start all the bolts. Tighten the bolts to the specified torque setting. Install the under vehicle splash shield. Raise the car with the floor jack, then pull the jack stands out and slowly lower the car. Remove the chalks from the rear wheels. 
guide the replacement belt around all of the pulleys except for the alternator pulley. Rotate the tensioner clockwise again, far enough to gain enough slack to slip the belt over the alternator pulley. Then ease off the tension to allow the tensioner to pick up the slack. Install the drive belt shield. Connect the cable to the negative battery terminal and tighten the cable clamp nut securely. Cooling system filling. Install a radiator funnel or equivalent into the radiator filler neck. A standard funnel will do if you don't have access to a radiator funnel setup. Fill the system with coolant until it is at the bottom of the radiator filler neck. When it's full, remove the funnel and reinstall the radiator cap. The overflow bottle marked with the word coolant on the lid should be filled to one half inch above the low level. Place the heater temperature control in the maximum heat position, then start the engine. Raise the engine speed to approximately 2500 RPM until the radiator fan comes on two times. Then shut it off and allow it to cool down before rechecking the fluid level.